Well, nice to talk to you. By the way, I will let you know that this is my number one movie for 2015. I'm not just giving you a line. I love that. I, love I that. When I did the original uh, round of interviews with the cast a couple of months ago, uh -huh. I said, you know, this has the potential to be my number one. Of course, more films have come out, but this right. is still my top film for the oh, year. I'm glad. I'm glad. Why do you think that this movie appeals to people of all ages? Of course, parents, you know, took their kids to the theater and said, oh, it's Disney Pixar. But now parents are coming out crying. Well, I, if, <laughs> if you look at it, and I've, I've said this, if you see this at around age seven or so, it's a fun movie. It's colorful. Things happen. It moves really well, uh, and so and it's gr it's great. You see it. A fourteen year old sees it and goes, "Oh my gosh, that's me. Riley is me. That's how I felt. I I remember that, and I I absolutely I, I identify with all that." You see it at twenty one, and you go, "Oh my gosh, that brings back a memory. I remember that," and then you see it as a parent, and say, "Oh, I really remember. You, you know, I remember when my kids were going through that." So imagine when a seven-year-old is, this is going to be watched forever. I mean, this truly will stand the test of time because those perspectives uh, will be matched at every year. And they'll go, oh, I remember when I saw that in the movie when I was seven. And then when they finally have a kid and the kid sits down and starts watching the movie, they're going to say, oh, my gosh. I remember when I was a kid, and of course the, there's the, you know, when I was a kid, I remember going to the theater and seeing Abbott and Costello and blah, 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 you know. But this really will be something that will stand the test of time. Speaking of standing the test of time, Disney Pixar movies stand the test of time. How does it make you feel to be part of the... Of history. History. That's I it. am history. I am entertainment history. And how does it make me feel? You take a guess. I am thrilled. This is, uh, you know, when I was a kid, I remember looking in the World Book uh, Encyclopedia because when I was young, I wanted to be an actor. And, and I always used to look up Bob Hope, Bing Crosby, and Walt Disney. And those people were the biggest in the world when I was a kid. And, uh, and I think those are dreams. They're pipe dreams, bucket list, whatever you want to call it. But no, it came true. It absolutely came true. We have to talk about Bing Bong, who I absolutely love. Good. What draws us to Bing Bong, your character? There is only purity and goodness. When you create an imaginary friend, only to bring comfort and to make you happy. That's why they, they exist. You know, you wouldn't create an imaginary friend to debate or to, uh, you, you know, who's contentious. He's fun. He's, he adds to your life. He's a companion who you hug. <laughs> and... Uh, the people who created the character are, I don't want to think they're not similar, but there is a groundswell of goodness within them that makes them capable of creating a story like this. So they know where they come from. And I think that's where Bing Bong generates, uh, generates his goodness, why you like him. How are you like Bing Bong? I'm just curious. I wasn't I, even going to ask you that question. I but. am, it's odd, I'm made of cotton candy. You wouldn't know it, but I am. <laughs> this looks black. You think it's licorice? It's not. It's cotton candy. I'm going to eat you on the way out. I'm kidding. That sounded awkward. Um, so, but yeah, here's another question for you. Talk about the Disney classics. Do you have any classics? Because you are a fan of Walt. What, what is I, uh, I, I always wanted to be Kurt Russell. That's who I wanted to be. So I can't say it's a cartoon. And then uh, uh, one of my audition songs used to be, uh, uh, I want to be like you from the Jungle Book. So... Uh, I loved the Jungle Book. I love Sword in the Stone. I loved Sword. That hit me when I was a, a boy, and you, I wanted to be Ward. I, I, I identified with everything in Sword in the Stone. So that, I think, is probably mine.